what is up happy people? I am Robert Arrington. This is my YouTube channel, Deer Meat for Dinner. And for the past eight or nine years, I've really made a career out of catching, cleaning, and cooking wild game. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to take my wife and my two little daughters out. It was the first time I ever took my daughters alligator hunting. We caught this one. It's eight foot six inches long. As you can see, we've got the hide, the head, and all the meat. There is no waste. These animals are highly regulated through the state of Florida and the federal government. In order to hunt one, you have to have this. It's called a CITES tag. That is a federally regulated tag that has to stay on this alligator hide. Now, I wanna show you how we caught the gator. And then I'm gonna show you how we got all of the dark meat, the light meat, the hide, and the head. We're gonna do a mount out of the head for my daughter and then we're gonna make something really cool out of the hide. But first, let me show you how this happened. Pull on them. Pull. Good now reel job. down to them. Hold your rod tip high, baby. There you go, now reel. Crank on him. There you go, perfect. Give me some skin, baby. Yeah. Good job, Aria. Pull. Pull. Come on, pull over here. Come over here, Aria, I want you to pull hard, like, like you mean it. Pull. Pull. Oh, perfect! Good job, Arya! See this? That's really, really hard. His brain actually sits right in there. That's where Sarah closed the show. You're gonna come back here right behind this, and you're just gonna gently cut this right around there, just like that. Now, up here, we're gonna cut right down the center here, right in between these scoots. Now, I'll typically take my finger and I just start working it, working around right here. And you wanna get comfortable when you're doing this because you're gonna be here a while. Skinning an alligator is not something that you do in 15 minutes like a deer or a hog. You cannot pull this. I don't care how hard I pull. You cannot pull the skin away from the meat. It just doesn't work like that. And if you cut fast, you're gonna pop a hole in it. And th that's not what you're looking for. You, you, wanna, you wanna keep the hide as perfect as possible. And your fingers, if you're not used to doing this, they will get fatigued. If you don't have a really good sharp knife, this works great when working on an alligator. You can just back it up to where it's about that long and you're gonna cut, cut right through these scoots here. See how that works? Come right on down here. And now we're gonna follow this all the way down here to the point. Then you take and go right in the center. Cut between these two scoots there. And just bring this right down to the foot. So then you'll take your fingers and like peel this back. Just like that. If you look right here, see how this comes along? There's an indentation right there, right there. If you just cut straight down, you're gonna cut a hole through the hide at that exact spot. So you gotta be aware of it and take your time. I typically will take my finger and like use it as a as a guide, just like that. See how there's a hard crease inside there, right there? So many people will cut a hole there. So you gotta be aware of it and take your time. I'm pulling on it and very gently cutting. There you go. Now you're starting to see nice, beautiful white meat and we're gonna work our way 
right up the other side. So now I have this side of the alligator skinned out. It, it didn't take long at all. But what I wanna show you is when you're gonna skin the underside of the leg here, you wanna have your friend hold this. That will give you the opportunity to then, here, see if you can hold this with one hand. Stand right there and just see if you can hold that. See how you do that? Now, I'm just using that as a reference. He will hold it and then you can skin the back side of the, of the alligator and you're not gonna pop a hole. See that? Comes out perfect. You want this tail to be as straight as possible. And then I get a knife like this. And that's my bone and fillet. And I'm gonna try to split this fan. So if, if you take this gator to a processor, he'll come in right here, he'll cut that, and then he'll cut down and you'll lose the fan. But because this is Arya's gator, I'm gonna try to split the fan. It's not easy, and I haven't done it in a couple years. Let's see how we do. So you're gonna run that knife. Basically, you're running it down into the tail, and then you just use the knife as like a wedge, and it will wedge right up through each fin, just like that. And you just keep repositioning the knife, and yeah, straight up, just one at a time. This down here is the, definitely the hardest, most tedious part of skinning an alligator. Now you see, see how we split the fan? We came down, we skinned out the whole tail. If you're new to this, as you get down into this end tail portion, don't try to cut too close to the meat because you'll have holes everywhere. Just leave the meat on there, you can deal with that later. We're on the home stretch here, but you don't want to get careless because if you get careless, you'll pop a really big hole in it. Now this is one place that sometimes you can peel it. Just like that. Make sure that you do not you gotta leave your, your tag in there like that. So what do you think, Arya? You're wanting to cut, huh? You're wanting to skin this alligator, aren't you? Come here. This is what I want you to do. Let me give you this knife. Hold this. Come around here. Now what I want you to do, you see how this, mm -hmm. see that how that's right there? You're gonna cut right where, right where the meat touches the hide. Boom. So now once you have that alligator completely skinned out, you basically just come in here and cut off all of his edible parts. So then you take off your front shoulder. That's gonna be a great piece to eat, whether you smoke it or, or like stew it, or whether you cut it into small pieces, it doesn't matter. That's your neck meat. See how that was a little bloodshot? That's going to be great. I mean, you can just look. There's just so many nice pieces of meat in here. Just like that. Perfect little medallion. Look at that. Big old jaw meat. A lot of people consider that the best piece of meat on the alligator. Alligator also has a back strap. Come right down the leg, right down the tail. Most, the most typical piece of meat you're gonna eat off an alligator is the tail. Just like that. Then you're gonna see this indentation right here. Cut just like that. Nice piece of meat right there. Look at that. Big old fat honk. There you go. Now, 
we want to get this leg right here off there's going to be a joint joint right there there you go coming together nicely y'all take my fingers and pull that wrap out just like that and this is going to be your your tenderloin cut it just so it's dislodged use your fingers you, you think there's an eel in the pool i don't think so babe it's so funny like the girls are like ah oh, whatever dad's cleaning an alligator no big deal See that? Now you're just gonna use your knife and just that's your wrap, just like that. Guarantee you that alone is 20 something pounds of meat. Well, talk about an absolute perfect scenario. I got to take my family out and make a memory that will last an absolute lifetime. Then we come back, clean the entire alligator, have a beautiful hide, 35 pounds of meat, and a head that we can make a Euro mount out of. Now, as you guys can see, we're actually in a hotel up here in Indianapolis. We're up here for the US Nationals. And tonight we're taking all of that meat and we're doing a cookout. We've got Clay Milliken, He's another YouTuber and a, and a drag racer. He runs Top Field Dragster. We got JR Todd from the DHL. We've got Tony Stewart. We've got Rico from Frat Fatheads. We've got a huge tent already put up and we're gonna have a big old huge alligator barbecue tonight in the Oval at Indianapolis. This is so epic, man. Last night we were at, at qualifying. Unbelievable. Now Sarah's back over there getting dressed. I'm ready to go. We're gonna go to Flapjacks for breakfast and you uh, will probably see this video in just a couple days. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is the life we live and I appreciate you being a part of it. But that's all I got for tonight. Take care, God bless, and we.